Hello, everyone. I'm Jabby Kawe, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We are continuing on with The Last of Us, Season 1, Episode Trace. Uno, Toast, Trace. Toast? Dose. Trace, like tacos. You guys, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we're Last of Us, Episode 3. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut-down version of our reaction because we can only show you a limited amount of picture-in-picture. Picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us, uncut, uninterrupted, then head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash or become a member of this channel where you can watch the whole thing with us. No cuts or interruptions, but you will need your own copy of the show, your own HBO Max subscription, yes. so you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction, and it'll be like you're watching it with two of your favorite pals from the internet. All right, let's jump back in. Let's, I mean, let's get into this. <laughs> it's been a day. Uh, let's get into this. Here we go. You want your jacket back? It's like a totally different vibe without Tess. Nobody made you or Tess take me. Nobody made you go along with this plan. You needed a truck battery or whatever, and you made a choice. So don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. Okay. Wow. I don't know if those are the words that someone wants to hear when they're grieving. It's like it's beautiful, but the world sucks. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hang back a minute. I gotta grab some stuff I stashed. Stashed? Why do you have stuff stashed here? You asked a lot of goddamn questions. Yes, I do. <laughs> is there anything bad in here? Just you. Ah, getting funnier. Mm. Yeah! Uh... What is she trying to do? I don't know. She's just doing kid things, exploring. I don't like the idea of going into dark spaces by yourself. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the basics. Yeah. I imagine those would be the things that you really miss, you know? Oh my gosh. Oh, yucky yuck. Oh, you're going to go towards that? Yeah, okay. What if it alerts the network? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like, why would you even entertain this notion? Just go the opposite <laughs> way. Ooh, yuck yuck. Just go the opposite way. Yeah. Oh, he found it. God, you need to keep an eye on that girl. Why? Why? She wants to mess with it. The thing is, she's probably angry. Her girlfriend got killed by one of those. Like, isn't it dangerous? She wants to stab as well. What are you doing? There's not much ammo out there for this thing. Makes it mostly useless. Oh, you're just gonna leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> God. We'll cut across the woods here. Isn't the road easier? Yeah, it's just two out in the open. There you shouldn't see. Oh, no, I have to see. No. It's a graveyard. About a week after outbreak day, soldiers went through the countryside, evacuated the small towns, told you you were going to a QZ, and you were, if there was room. If there wasn't. Wow. That's Damn. sickening. Oh. Oh, little baby kid. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not saying anything. Is is that the guy who voiced Joel? No. No. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm like, why? What? No, I know who that is, though. Oh. But this is needed. This is very important. Not today, you new world order jackboot f***s.
Oh, this is so cool. I cuz they this is not something you get in the game, but it's important. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> He's definitely prepared. Yeah. <laughs> What's it say on his door? Uh, I think it's gonna... just it's just a matter of uh, clearance. Are they gonna blow it up? No, I it's I think the each of those means like it's clear. Clear. That's no it. no one's there. Yeah. Oh, okay. The whole town's his. <laughs> yeah, but for how long? People will move back in eventually, right? No. <laughs> Whoa. What if someone's in there? No like, one's in there. He's stocking up. It was clearly shut down. Infected. No, no one's in there. It was closed up. Yo. Oh. Because the game has... It's like generators everywhere in the game. Yeah. What's that? Oh. There it is. I was wondering if that was gonna come up. Keep coming. Oh yeah. It's totes infected. Oh. Oh, pretty effective. Yeah. But like, That's what if a horde though. comes? Yeah, exactly. Oh wow, he's like got a really good setup. Four years. All by himself. Wouldn't you go a little bit mad? We've officially crossed Castaway. I'm not infected. Are you armed? I will go back inside. I'd leave him there. I'm just trying to get to Boston. Alone? But yeah, I'm I'm alone. Are you hurt? It's just, just a bruise. Oh, God. I find people scarier than infected. What? Close. Thank you. Almost done. Oh, hot water. What bliss. Hold on. Can I have five more minutes? Sure. Sure. Thank you. This is amazing. I can't remember if he's gay or not. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just remember him being a very interesting character in, in the game. I'm I'm really surprised you let him into his house. Yeah. But also he seemed quite genuine. <laughs> Stop touching my stuff. Dang, got like, that's a proper, nice it's setting. Like Michelin star. Yeah, with crystal, like, water glasses and wine glasses, a bottle of wine. Oh my God. Mm. <clears throat> yes, please. Don't wine snobs hate when you pop the cork? Oh, a Beaujolais. I've been staring at this the whole time. Is it antique? 1948. Wow. You know how much these are worth? Currently nothing. <laughs> My mother's. Could uh, you uh, not? <clears throat> this is you. <laughs> oh, the gift of music. Oh my God. It's my favorite. The way he's handling all that stuff is kind of making me uncomfortable. <laughs> is it still in you... tune? All right, that's, yeah, that's, Movie magic. No one at my side. And no, 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 sorry. no, thank you. Sorry. Not this song. Not this song. Well, I mean, Why? Professional. Well, neither am I, but. And then I'll leave. It's 
like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just get out of my house. Take things in stride. Sounds like good advice. But there's no one at my side. Let's start singing together. I think I'm gonna love you for a long, long time. Oh, that was very nice. So, who's the girl? girl you're seeing about there is no girl that ah. I know that ah. oh boy oh oh it's very forward sir we've only just met okay it's an apocalypse it's fine <laughs> We're all going to die anyway. <laughs> Might as well live it up. <laughs> he's going to push him back or is he going to oh. like, continue? He's been so lonely. They're so lonely. I approve, I think. I feel like I need to know a little bit more about him. But so far, I'm like, yeah, why not? Let's live out the rest of your days together. You look cute. Aww. What's your name? Bill. Go take a shower, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> you stink. <laughs> it's a trap. Have you ever done this before? Not with anyone? Oh. With a girl a long time ago. No, but so I'm going to start with the simple things. <laughs> I don't. Have sex for lunches, not even great ones. So if I do this, I'm gonna stay for a few more days. What? It's, I told you that's a trap. That's that's the trap. That's, the honey trap. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive, yeah, exactly. I guess. I, I don't fault him. It's an apocalypse. I don't fault him. We it's, gonna get married. <laughs> We're gonna have pretend babies. I do not fault him. Do what you have to, my man. If it's really good, you can stay forever. Oh. <gasps> I live in this world. You live in a psycho bunker where 9-11 was an inside job and, and the government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis! <laughs> well, yeah, now, but not then. Oh, trouble in paradise. I am asking for some paint and some gasoline for the lawnmower. That's all. I'll do everything else myself. It is not Bill, a man. you say resource management? So help me, I will run through one of your trip wires. <laughs> <laughs> took me a second. <laughs> are, are we hosting formal garden parties now? No, but we are going to have friends. What? <laughs> Excuse me? What, what, what? We will never have friends because there are no friends to be had. Well, I've actually been talking to a nice woman on the radio. You want? Oh my God! Oh, oh, that is how it all happened. Yeah. I'm the same way. Oh, you're a paranoid schizophrenic too. I'm not schizophrenic. <laughs> Just paranoid. Books, medicine, machine parts. We can help each other and get that gun out of my face. Mm -hmm. I don't need you or your friend complicating our lives is that clear that fence has got a year on it tops galvanized wire already started to corrode mm. oh and i have this idea that we should uh we should use codes for the radio in case anyone's listening oh that's a good idea oh like the 60s 70s and 80s music oh yeah all oh, right 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 yeah. sooner or later there will be raiders yeah and they'll beat that fence and your trip wires They'll come at night, quiet and armed. We'll be fine. Ugh. Ugh. Hubris. Come on, dude. You're by yourself, my man. Too much confidence. Yeah. Oh, I feel sad prematurely. <laughs> I feel sad for what I feel like is going to happen. <laughs> oh. I traded Joel and Tess one of your guns for a packet of seeds. What? Which gun? A little one. <laughs> mm. 
I couldn't be with someone like that. <laughs> I just couldn't. It wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to enjoy this moment. I'd be angry. <laughs> You'd be like so mad. Aww. They, they kind of balance each other out because like Frank Bill brings like the light and the joy. No doubt. I mean, they, they complement each other. Yeah. I just, I, I, from a, like looking at it from the outside in. <laughs> Oh yeah, natural strawberries have way more punch than yeah. like what we get at the oh, store. So delicious. I was never afraid before you showed up. Yeah, now he's got something to lose. But seriously, which gun? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> that would be my question. <laughs> I gotta know. Oh. No, no, don't crush the strawberries. Right. That's right. Priorities. Priorities. <laughs> you spent so long growing them. <gasps> I feel like that kind of sound you'd immediately hop out of bed. Yeah. They're all by themselves. Bail! Bail! And even if they hid... These people would just move in. Oh God. Oh no. I I don't think I can deal if something happens to him. Oh, I bet you wish he hadn't sold that gun now. I don't know where. Stay inside the house. Oh no! Oh god, no, Frank, no. I got you. I got you. Oh gosh. Why was he out there shooting like that as opposed to like. Radio. Radio test. I don't know. Oh gosh. He'll take care of you. What? Well, that went differently than I expected. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll get you warmed up. Yeah. Oh, well, they I survived that. No one else came. He doesn't have complete function of his body, it looks no, like. No, he doesn't. Maybe he's sick. Like you said, he's old. He's older now, maybe. He's got like some sort of disease. Yeah. I I so thought he was gonna get like eaten or killed by a raider yeah. or something like that. Yeah, me too. I don't want you falling asleep in the chair. I won't. You will, and then your feet get blue. Bill, I'm not fighting about it. Back in I bed. I promise you I'm gonna stay up. Why? Because this is my last day. Oh, I had a feeling. What if we find a doctor? What if what if someone shows up who can help? Who's coming, Bill? The door-to-door -door MRI salesman? There wasn't anything to cure this before the world fell apart. I've made up my mind. Mm -hmm. Come here. I can't. I'm not going to give you the every day was a wonderful gift from God speech. I have had a lot of bad days. I've had bad days with you, too. But I've had more good days with you than with anyone else. Just give me one more good day. Starting now, make me some toast. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to the boutique where I'll pick outfits for us. You'll wear what I ask. We'll get married. Oh. And you cook a delicious dinner. Then you will crush all of these up, put them in my wine. I will drink it. Then you will take me by my hand, bring me to our bed, and I will fall asleep in your arms. Why would you do 
that to someone you love. <sighs> Maybe they not get it, but also... Uh, I can't. Do you love me? <laughs> He's like the master manipulator. Yes. Then love me the way I want you to. That's messed up. Yeah. I mean, I I see I see both sides, but I was just thinking like if I was in Bill's situation, it's like when Frank's gone, what do I have to live for anymore? You know? Yeah. I'd I'd wanna go too. Yeah. And like the anniversary of your wedding is always going to be the day that your husband died. <laughs> Looks like Jordan Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the same meal of the first time he came over. Or at least it looks like it. Except they're sitting next to each other instead of sitting all the way at the opposite ends of the table. Is he going to change his mind? Um, unless Bill's tricking him. Who can... Turn back. Why are there already pills in the bottle? Enough to kill a horse. This isn't the tragic suicide at the end of the play. I'm old. I'm satisfied. And you were my purpose. I do not support this. But from an objective point of view, it's incredibly romantic. <laughs> it's messed up, but it is romantic. <laughs> They're gonna make it up to the bed. Do you think they'll leave a note for Joel and Tess? <laughs> like, you won't be hearing from us. Oh, where'd she go? It's from Bill. To whomever, but probably Joel. <laughs> I figured I fell under whomever. Came with this. That's a car. If you find this, please do not come into the bedroom. We left the window open so the house wouldn't smell, but it would probably be a sight. I'm guessing you found this, Joel, because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one of my traps. <laughs> 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 I leave you all of my weapons and equipment. Use them to keep. Oh, she's already dead. Oh. If I'm taking you with me, there's some rules you gotta follow. Rule one, you don't bring up Tess ever. Rule two. You don't tell anyone about your condition. Rule three, you do what I say when I say it. We clear? Yes. That was the most Joel sounding he has sounded this entire show so far. <laughs> they have hot water. I'm taking a shower. And then you're showering. Seriously. 
<laughs> Tell me she finds a gun. What is it? A little baby gun? Yeah. yeah. Does it have bullets though? Pretty. Shut up. <laughs> oh. It's your first time in a car? It's like a spaceship. <laughs> Seatbelt. Windows up. Hello? Oh, she doesn't know. <laughs> Seatbelt. <It's> so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, music? We got some music. Delete it. Put it back. Ellie. How do you even know where that goes, Ellie? Because she's probably messed with something like that before. And I think I'm gonna love you for a long, long Wow. Wow. Okay. I just kept thinking something bad was going to happen. Like at any time it's like quiet in the show, I'm immediately like, when's the other shoe gonna drop? I wonder. Man. What? I just wonder how the game fans are gonna feel. This totally deviated from the game in a very, very, very strong way. Unless there's something coming that is like a surprise. But it's like, there was a letter yeah. That said, Joel, this is all for you. And he didn't take that letter and throw it out. Like if he was still alive, he didn't take that letter and throw it out. He didn't take the key back. He didn't take the truck. You know what I mean? Like if Bill was still alive, oh. she would have thrown that letter out. Right. Yeah. He's dead. Yeah. Presumably. But, like, well, but in the game, he's not. Well, I can't tell you anything other than he was part of the journey. Oh. This is not how it went down. This is totally different. Now, I thought this was just an extended flashback and then they show up and they run into Bill. Yeah, that's kind of how I thought it was going to go. But this whole thing with Frank um, being ill. Now, th th so for me personally, I think this was awesome. <laughs> like as a complete hard U-turn on all of your expectations. Like in terms of, of taking what was in the game and like we've been saying, expanding on it in a meaningful way. Yeah. Like, and, and giving you something unexpected. Like this is awesome totally unexpected both for gamers and first time viewers alike well i thought it was a really interesting direction to go because it's showing us the the different people that live in this world right and so far we've seen how shitty it can be but here we have these two people who found each other in mm. the midst of basically an apocalypse right fell in love lived a life together and have their own little bubble, which is like kind of normal and nice in the midst of all this madness. And it just, it shows you a different side to it, you know, just kind of like it being potentially beautiful and nice and, and still having a reason to live for and like, to love for and all of that. Once again, I'm just so amazed at this show and the, the creators, the writers, directors, the actors, everyone, because they introduced two new characters, at least to me, right? They introduced two new characters in this episode and made us fall in love with them and care about them mm -hmm. and their, their story and their journey and their relationship that when they died, I was distraught. Yeah. I'm like, no, you can't, you can't do that. You only just arrived. Yeah. I seriously thought we were going to cut to find Bill still alive and it didn't work on him. I so thought he was, he was going to survive that. And well, he said, we don't know for sure, right? They didn't, he didn't open the door and he didn't no, see No, we didn't see, see, I see, I thought when the camera was pulling away from the window, we were yeah. going to see there was just one body in bed. Oh yeah. I was, I was like, oh, are they going to show us bodies? Like, why would they do that? But yeah, that that reasoning of maybe there's only one body and it was Frank. The window was open. So it's like, what does that mean? Well, he said they left the window. They left the windows open. Oh, so, so, it, wouldn't so it wouldn't stink. Yeah. Gotcha. So. Okay. Yeah. But that was 
That was really, really good. I feel so dumb. I should have brought tissues. Every single episode, I cry. This one got me even more than the other two. Well, for obvious reasons, it's about love and- Well, and, yeah, and, yeah. And love and death. Love and, love and death and this sort of this sort of stuff when it comes to like love and romance and relationships and stuff like that, it, it always really gets me, but- Gosh, Frank, man. I love I love his character. I don't know the actor's name, but the, the actor who played him did such a great job because he was instantly someone that was lovable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so immediately, I, as much as I wanted to be wary of him, and I was, I was like, I like him. Yeah. And I could understand why Bill really like kind of let his guard down from the start. But in many ways, he was kind of manipulative right like he manipulated his way into staying but it worked out well because they ended up like falling in love and, and having a, a relationship and, and being there for one another and then at the end when he's sick like while i understand where he's coming from and he wants to bow out with dignity and leave on his own terms because like where are they going to find treatment for him in this world right and so he just wants to to just log off yeah. I, I get it. But on the other hand, to put that on Bill and be like, will you do this for me? You'll do it if you love me. Was quite manipulative. He always got what he wanted in the end. I, I cared a lot about their relationship uh, as the episode went on. Like initially, I, I was just seeing what was going to happen just out of curiosity because I'm like, oh, well, surely this is just like a five minute thing. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't think it was going to go on as long as it did. I didn't think it was going to be most of the episode. Yeah. It was It was almost like I was watching an Indian movie or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It was like, it was like the whole episode. You know what I mean? And they sort of subverted your expectations because they set you up in an interesting way with the first two episodes starting out with a flashback. And so yeah. when, when, it, when the flashback starts in episode three, I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be another explanation of something that just kind of like the Jakarta incident, right? Yeah. It's just another quick explanation of something. Then we get back to the present story. It completely surprised me that it just stayed there. Yeah. And I didn't like know what, how long that was going to go for. It went all the way until they, they got old and died. Yeah. You know, I was like, whoa, okay, that's... That was surprising, you know, it's especially with like everything that's been happening so far. It's not what you're expecting as an audience. That's why I said both for gamers and first time watchers alike. I mean, people new to the story. Yeah, it's a surprise. It's like w that's not what have, I did. I wouldn't have been able to predict that was going to happen. You yeah. Know? If you're someone who's familiar with the game like I am, this is really cool because it gives you insight into what that story probably was like for Bill. You know, assuming that he's dead, like he's yeah. like he's actually dead, you know, that we you can still take that as a sort of a self-contained thing of, well, that's Bill's past before you encounter him in the game. That's a, such a super cool thing to just get an expansion on who this dude is, because when you're playing Last of Us, the whole thing is about very much in the present. Yeah. And you're on a journey. People come in and out of your life while you're on this little journey to do what you're there to do as Joel. So Bill comes into your life and then it goes out of your life, you yeah. know, because you're, you're on this journey. Yeah. To see all this and like emotionally connect with that character in a way that was so much more profound than the game is crazy. The thing they've been saying so far about Last of Us completely like breaking the curse of video game adaptations. I, I heard an argument from Chris Stuckman who was saying good video game adaptations have actually been around for a while. Like they've been doing it. It's just that we keep paying attention to the bad ones. And Mario left such a stain on the industry with being such a bad movie that we, we keep defaulting to that when there have been good video game adaptations. But this really has the crown so far. Yeah. Like in terms of what it was able to make me feel in these three episodes alone, and this one was profound. Like Nick Offerman is like, he's a man's man. You're not expecting him to take on that role. Yeah. You know? But he does it so well. Like the the vulnerability that he showed was just so award winning. Incredible <laughs> like, to watch. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, no, there you you don't have to be a stereotypical type of gay man in sure. order to love men. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's a whole gamut of different types of people like in everything and i'm really glad that they they showed this and that their their relationship was just so 
loving and pure, but also not perfect because who is? But what I really liked about it was just that Bill was the type of guy, like he said, who who just like didn't like people, was perfectly happy to just be alone. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of all of this darkness and madness, he found a light. He cultivated it and he held on to it and it gave him purpose. And I imagine that to him, it made his life better. He had a whole arc in this episode. Yeah. And it was wild because he starts out as someone who's very cold and a hermit and he's he's just got this grimace on his face. Yeah. And by the end, he, he like you kind of said, he softened up. He opened up. He opened his heart. Yeah. And you can see that. Like Nick Offerman did such a damn good job of taking this character from this hardened, isolated individual to someone who's full of so much life and yeah. love and compassion and just wanted to take care of another individual. You yeah, know? It, it was it was such a beautiful storyline for him and it was just so heartbreaking. But, but like Frank said in a way, and maybe it's because one of my favorite Shakespearean plays is Romeo and Juliet. The fact that they both decided to, you know, bow out together was heartbreaking and beautiful at the same time. But it's exactly what I felt in the moment because like putting myself in, in their shoes, like, if I was with the love of my life and, and they were ill and they decided that it was their time to go and they wanted to choose. Yeah. And especially living in that world where it's like, I don't have any friends nearby. I don't think I would want to like go and live in the QC because I think that would kind of suck after having all the freedom of living in, in their little you know, gated community, as it were. I think I'd be like, you know what? I have, I've had a good run too. I'm, I'm really happy uh, to, to have spent all this time with you. And if you're going, then I'm, I'm going. Yeah. And so that, that totally makes sense to me. But was it heartbreaking? Absolutely. I hope he's still alive. I hope it failed or something because all evidence points to no. Yeah. All evidence seems to suggest that he's definitely gone because all of his ammunition was there, his truck was there, the letter with the key was still there, yeah. the dust had settled for a long, long time. Like, all evidence would point to, no, he's definitely gone. Unless, unless he was just so distraught he just left. that he couldn't, I mean, if the love of your life died in the house that you had basically built your lives in together, yeah, maybe yeah. you would be like, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to stay here anymore. But you're right. The fact that he left the car and all yeah. the guns seem to be there. So, my, well, all I'm driving at is I, I do hope his character's still alive because his character is interesting enough that it'd be great to have him actually like encounter our two leads you know yeah in this in in this show but i get it if this is just fine it's, that's it you know like he's gone that was cool you know yeah like that was that was very moving and it's it's not that often that shows don't do this <laughs> that's, you know what i mean shows even setting video game adaptations aside yeah. shows don't do this like show you a really cool character or something and then just have them be gone in one episode without even like properly interacting with the leads like he inter interacted with joel the one time yeah that was it you know what i mean like this yeah. is so weird it's so different and so i i really appreciate the boldness in terms of the structure so far of the show. Yeah. Like, it's And I crazy. also really appreciate just the fact that the first two episodes were really bleak. I was actually having a conversation with one of my friends who was like, after everything that's happened in the past couple of years with the pandemic and everything, for him, it was just kind of feeling a little bit too bleak. You know, it's like, it's, it's kind of hitting close to home and it's like, maybe we want to see something a little bit more positive and not doom and gloom feeling like it could be quite real because they've done a really good job of kind of rooting it in a sense of realism um but i think it was nice to have this third episode be showing us a little bit more lightness yeah. uh, love and and romance and the possibility of that happening even though it was like super tragic but i i like that they they're like okay let's let's give them a little bit of a reprieve in a way and show them nice things like fresh strawberries and a romance or whatever because like i said at the end of the episode i keep feeling like the other shoe is going to drop and it's like when are they going to run into like really awful people or like scarier situations that's going to come yeah. but i'm glad that we at least had this beautiful moment yeah we had a whole call me by your name <laughs> but, uh, I loved it. but uh the, the thing is in the game itself there are moments of reprieve a little bit. I mean, you have the giraffe thing that, okay. that just didn't make it to the show so far, but 
there are things like that. It's not as much as that. <laughs> like this whole episode was about that. Yeah. Uh, specifically. And so this is cool, man. I, I really appreciated this. Admittedly, like I, I was hoping to get back on track with the adventure and spend more time with Joel and Ellie. I mean, that's what I signed up for mm -hmm. was them. So I'm a little bit frustrated that this isn't like a, a two hour episode so I can get back on that and get more of their adventure. Sure. It does piss me off a little bit, Ooh. but 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 I do really appreciate what they've done here. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm very happy that we got to explore this. I think they're doing a really good job of exploring the side characters that maybe you wouldn't really get a chance to explore their story in the game. Correct. Which is lovely. Yeah. And so, yeah, I am looking forward to kind of seeing more of this adventure and the relationship between Joel and Ellie growing. Uh, that's, that's the last thing I'll, I'll, I guess I'll remark on before I close this out is that in that little moment inside the dining area when he was telling Ellie, like, what's up? Yeah. He sounded very much like he's... I don't know. Maybe it's been there the whole time and it's been more subtle or what, but like that is where he sounded the most Southern to me, like Texas. Oh. You know what I mean? Like he sounded, he actually sounded like even, even the kind of gruff in his voice and his demeanor, everything like maybe he's just, I don't know how they shot this. I don't know what order they shot it in, Uh huh. but like that was the most Joel. I feel like I've, I felt like I've seen him this entire show so far. Sure. I'm just wondering why and so now I'm like curious about the production angle and like how that all came to be. Maybe that was shot like towards the end of the run. You know what I mean? Who knows? Who knows? Um, at the end of the of the shooting production, that's what I mean. You know. So yeah. Like, then he's like really gotten his character down. He's you know? really got the accent yeah. down. No, I liked it. So anyway, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, let us know your feelings in the comments below. Uh, what you felt about this episode? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Uh, you know, all the things. Yeah. And subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon, all notifications. Pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.